Hi everyone, welcome. We're checking in today on this 312 day old system with red wiggler worms living in it. It was during our last check-in 13 days ago where we transitioned the system from everyday composting to migration. So the whole idea behind that is to see if we can get the worms to just voluntarily leave their finished castings over on this side of the bin and gather to be collected and hauled out over on this side of the system. So after 13 days, I'm curious to see how the migration's coming along. I've got some more food for these little guys. Food which is not frozen because this is the system where we've been feeding only non-frozen foods. So we're gonna get a glove on, get the system up on the bench and see how the migration's coming along. Back on the shelf, you might have noticed a couple other systems configured similarly with a feeding zone set up, or at least what appeared to be the edge of the bin on those two stacked up bins over there set up in a similar way. And yeah, they're migrating too. Well, seems like the worms definitely like coming up to hang out on this uh, top covering of plastic where the moisture sort of gets intercepted rather than being left to evaporate into the air. It uh, gets trapped under the plastic there, making the feeding zone a nice cozy spot for the worms to gravitate towards, theoretically. So uh, I'm curious to see how it's coming along. And you know, we, um, we've been using solid transition, uh, like, um, I don't know what to call it. <laughs> it's like a partition, basically just to keep these nice castings free of any of the materials that we use to set up these horizontal migration feeding zones. So the whole idea is to ooh, be left with some nice clean castings. And I like the idea of trying to keep that going, but after 13 days being right here on the edge of where the feeding zone is, I imagine that this cardboard has probably been nibbled away. The only part that's still going to look intact is what's above the surface which is a little bit damp but might still be usable it says over in the finished casting side i found this big huge something <laughs> i don't know what it is you know what it is it's a mango the, the outer husk of a mango seed because i remember i had put a whole bunch of cuts into one of these things once to see if that might help um help it along in the process of breaking down so that definitely belongs over there as leftovers <laughs> um, I guess we haven't really tried very hard yet to um, pour through this material to see if it really is free of stuff imagine we're just gonna find little bits and pieces of leftover stuff from all the past feedings that we can eventually pick out but we're not here to do that so much as to just reinforce the feeding perhaps give the system a little bit more bedding I do remember from the last check-in, I, I re-watched the video just to see what it was like, and they, uh, you know, they had pretty much gobbled up everything that they'd gotten from the previous feeding, which was given to them in an amount of time, I guess, similar to the amount of time that has passed once again here today since the previous check-in, a couple weeks or thereabouts. So kind of made me wonder, are they going to have... Um, done a real number on the feeding they got last time or how is that gonna look so here we're gonna start bumping into some of the stuff we used to build the thing and evidently we're already bumping into a good many worms that have decided to come out and check out the horizontal migration feeding zone very nice I guess you know we should probably go really check the other side go check the um Go check the situation over in the finished castings. When I see so many worms hanging out, it starts to, you know, starts to make me wonder, could it be that maybe our uh, horizontal migration is already close to being done? Um, but still, I don't want to um, skip adding more food today. I see lots of leftover bedding, but then again, that's... Um, fair I think so uh, so that's pretty normal but I'll, I'll be um, adding all the fresh stuff to the far outer edge and I'm even wondering perhaps do we try to get another replacement cardboard partition 
No, you know, I think we'll stick with what we got here. Let's just backfill onto this. A little bit of material just to help it stand up straight because we're going to nudge. We're going to nudge a little bit of room for ourselves over here. Into which we could add a little bit more bedding and some fresh food. The stuff I've got for them is designed to really sort of ring the dinner bell. Um, by that I just mean this whole banana here. <laughs> and a couple other things. And I think that's going to be a real popular thing for these little guys. So I think we've created plenty of additional space here into which that banana should fit pretty easily, I think. And I've also got um, some bedding materials that are similar to what we used last time. I think last time, too, I just took little bits of newspaper, crumpled up sort of like this, and used this as a foundation for the feeding. We'll just, we'll just follow suit with doing the same again here. I can see some of the leftovers from the last feeding, these tops of peppers. Pepper cores, look, the pepper core that was attached to the top is gone, totally gone. Just the stem remains, you know, a few fragments of other stuff. We'll hang on to that as our feeding zone indicator and top off the feeding with that. But now perhaps we can even drop in this bed of uh, somewhat spoiled, some spoiled, uh, ooh, well, pungent. Not pungent in a bad way, but um, either way, some spices going in here. Some spices that don't necessarily go with banana, if you ask me, but whatever. <laughs> We're just going to go with it. But you know what? I've still got some more stuff, so before we put in the yummy banana, let's put a little bit more bedding type material right beneath it. And, man, we got ourselves a nice stacked up feeding over here. So why don't we use some of my prepared bedding to try to cover that thing up neatly. I've got a feeling that the next time we come back in here, that banana is going to be <laughs> really popular. There's going to be worms all over that thing. And I'm definitely curious to see uh, how things look over in the castings. Because we saw lots of worms. I mean, I didn't want to disturb them too much. I wonder if some people might have been sort of crying out saying show me more show me more i think we i think we got a pretty good look you know hopefully you agree and you know before we put the feeding zone indicator on i've also got another thing that the worms really appreciate which is a little bit more moisture just to get all this prepared bedding that i gave them nice and damp really welcoming so that they can feel cozy cruising over into there and hopefully happening upon that nice big banana and definitely makes me wonder what kind of um, wormy, wormy population do we still have remaining over in the finished casting. So why don't we shoot over there really quick before we finish up here today and see how things over there look. So, I mean, it was fair to expect that some worms would be right there at the perimeter where we, um, where we attempted to get a nice cut off but we definitely don't have as much partition here as we did previously so I'll just try to carefully backfill this little divider thingy which I think by next time if we backfill it this high up near its top and then we'll have plastic covers here too I've got a feeling that thing could very well just get nibbled away um, by the next time we come back in here but I do feel somewhat more dry material out here on the surface. As I dig down, the stuff gets a little bit more damp. So here I'll attempt to blend in the, the dry that I've got out on the surface down into the stuff below it to hopefully just bring the, oops, just to bring the overall moisture level of the entire shebang down a little bit. Hopefully triggering some worm movement. Worms perhaps feeling that the stuff is now not quite as comfortable as it had been while it was more damp as it, dry, it gets drier and gets a little bit less desirable um, to be occupying. Maybe that'll get them cruising around and ending up over here in our horizontal migration feeding zone. And here and there, I'm just bumping into little things. I'm just wondering, should I be picking stuff out? I guess if they're larger some things, then for sure. 
Um, but at this point, perhaps anything I hit, you know, should just be coming out of here so I can continue to think of what's on this side as just pretty much lovely finished castings, which the worms are definitely still working on because there's still a few of them out there taking care of business for us. <laughs> but I can see us either picking through this thing to get the last of these little bits of scraps of sticks and stems and debris and other things, leftover food chunks, who knows what, um, to eventually uh, end up with some stuff that is very nice over here. But it'll have to dry. It'll have to get drier. Perhaps once it does, it'll flow better and we can maybe even screen it. But right now, it would definitely not work um, trying to screen stuff like this. Still too... A little bit too uh, clumpy, if you ask me. So, we're pretty much done here. Let's just get our coverings restored, more or less the way we had them. Good, thorough plastic coverings for the feeding zone. And even covering the, the divider slightly. We'll probably let that thing get quite damp as well, resulting in the worms just pretty much nibbling it away. By the next time we come back in here, it'll most likely be history. <laughs> But that's cool. I'm okay with that. And I like this top covering transition too here where it's um, sort of a double layer here, still protecting it a little bit here on the dividing line, but then becoming less and less um, protected as we get more distant. So I'm even wondering if at some point we might just decide to just leave the covers off and really let this start stuff drying on that side. Um, you know, maybe I'm wondering, do we do that now? Might not be a bad idea. Let's really let this stuff dry and just leave off that paper and the only stuff that's going to remain damp is um, what's beneath the plastic from this point forward. That should definitely motivate um, stragglers to get out and join the rest of the crowd and have some banana. All right, everyone, that's it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I've got a few things to take care of getting cleaned up and put away here, but I'm not going to waste time with that. That's boring. Before I go really quick, let me just say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, as always, please don't forget to leave me a quick thumbs up before you go. That's always very much appreciated. If you haven't done so already, please also consider subscribing to the channel. That's very much appreciated as well. All right, everyone, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye now.